Good morning, everyone. As promised, I'm starting some sort of mini series within my free to play Iron Man series. In the comment section down below, you can write which NPC do you want me to slaughter next. For now on, let's just do some preparation things. Let's defeat this Dark Wizard to see if I have anything left on Loot Tracker from before. There we go, let's reset this. Basically, I will do loot from 24 hours at Dark Wizards. I have already prepared my inventory setup. I brought 10k iron arrows. Of course, I will be doing all the clue scrolls as I get them. This is one of the most important aspects. My current time played shows 27 days and 44 minutes. So once there are 28 days and 44 minutes, I finish. Good luck to me. Let's go. Some quick information before we move on to progress. So Dark Wizards come in two different tiers, level 7 ones and level 20 ones. I won't focus on any specific tier. I will just tag them as I see them. Lower level wizards can drop clues at 1 in 50 rate and higher level ones drop them at a rate of 1 in 35. A shot at stale baguette. Never lucky. Few hours in, about to get a first level up, which will be 74 range. I should get a couple more levels still, I think, knowing how much time I still have remaining. Almost half time already, and only now I managed to get a double clue. Let's see what kind of steps did I get. Oh, this one is extremely convenient. And other one. Reldo. Let's do other clue first. I think I'm at around exactly half time right now, and I'm about to dig casket number 50. So I think my goal for this episode will be 100 caskets. A huge level coming in, which is 75 range already. I feel like next time I will do Bryophyta, it will be much easier. Iron Arrows update. I already used up half of my Iron Arrows I have prepared. And uh, I just checked, I'm around 17 hours of gameplay. Little bit behind on clues right now because... Recently, I was like one hour dry from getting a single clue. Now, 100 clues goal looks quite far away. <laughs> Look at this dark wizard. He's pretending to be dead, so I'm not attacking him anymore. So it was raining clues recently, and I'm only 10 clues away from 100. And I feel like I'm on rate again to reach 100, actually. There we go, with 44 minutes remaining, I am walking to dig up a casket number 100. Slowly running out of time, this will be the last level. There we go, 76 range. And also got a clue scroll, wow, let's rush to do it, maybe I can get one more. After four days, it's finally time to conclude this grind. Now it's probably last seconds ticking. I just need to keep on refreshing the timer. Any time now. There we go, 44 minutes. Now 24 hours are officially over. Let's check the loot. I should open a loot tracker. Once again, I'm showing you, you just need to enable pop-out panel. By the way, there is one bug right now with loot tracker on mobile. To be able to see the loot, you need to get at least one KC, then it will show up. Okay, let's see what did we get. We got almost 4,400 kills. Uh, loot is worth approximately 1 million. Now it's time for loot breakdown. You can see I got a lot of simple runes, especially earth runes, over 7,000 of them. Also, almost 1,000 nature and chaos runes. These are really useful for future magic training. Uh, what's next is law runes. Didn't get many of them. Also, 
I used most of my law runes for teleportations and in the end I averaged only one law rune an hour. Fire and water talismans can be converted into a huge 2680 runecrafting experience. For reference, it would take approximately 12 years of grinding dark wizards non-stop to bank 99 runecrafting. Good luck guys! Oh, and by the way, for this grind, I used up almost 8,000 iron arrows since I started with 10k, and also I spent around 20,000 GP for Chronicle Teleport Charges. Now it's time for the fun part, opening the caskets. Dark Wizards are claiming number one spot for now in this mini-series rankings, with a whooping 100 free clue scrolls in 24 hours. Don't forget to leave the comments which NPC do you want me to go to next. And now I am leaving you all with casket opening montage. Well, didn't get any items I was missing, but got one pair of black plate legs, also got quite a decent chunk of regular unique items from Clues, including one pair of mole slippers, one shoulder parrot. Yeah, I got my fourth pair of black plate legs. I can't remember getting any black weapons though, that black warhammer's placeholder is so lonely in the bank. Let's check collection log one last time. And five mole slippers, nine frog slippers, four jester capes and five shoulder parrots. I feel like these are the most expensive items. Thank you for watching and goodbye.